Hello, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading "Rulers on Strike" by Jennifer Jones. Do you know what goes into making a perfectly straight line? What it takes to do it correct every single time? It's much easier to do when you have a ruler nearby. You can run your pencil against our straight edge spine. We must be very precise to measure every inch. Whenever you need us, we're there in a pinch. But the students in class treat us in lots of poor ways. Instead of celebrating us, they abuse us on most days. They slap us on their hands, or even worse, on their desks. They use us to flick art scraps all over and make a mess. They fling us and throw us across the classroom. They scrape us on the floor as if we are brooms. They crack our corners off so we are no longer smooth. They never think these are terrible, awful, no good things to do. They bend us and break us. They snap us into bits. Well, one day we couldn't take any more. We had enough of it. We waited until the class dismissed and the students all left for the bus. We left our homes, the supply baskets, until the students took better care of us. The next day, while in math class, when it was time to measure shapes, they looked in their desk baskets and found popsicle sticks in our place. The students struggled without us. As they tried their best to make do, they really needed rulers for their work. But we were gone, and they hadn't a clue. Their triangles looked more like trapezoids, and no student could draw a perfect square. Before long, the students began to notice their trusty rulers were no longer there. Where did all the rulers go? One student raised his hand and asked. As soon as it was said out loud. Worry washed over the class. The teacher explained to the students how they had treated us in awful ways. We were prepared to leave them for the rest of the school days. One ruler came out of the corner and said, "That's right. We've gone on strike. You simply cannot treat us any which way you like." The students seemed sad. We had no idea. One said. We'll take better care of you. They promised to respect us instead. When the students said sorry, we decided to talk it all out. We told them how we felt, what our strike was all about. We agreed to help them with their assignment as long as they treated us right. And sure enough, they did. We no longer had to fight. So be careful with your school supplies. Treat them in a way you think they would like. Otherwise, you never know; they might just go on strike. V and that's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.